been hurting so bad for us to part. But someday, baby, I ain't gonna This is the lesson for Very Light Blues by Maceo Merriweather. Do listen to his uh, version with uh, Tampa Red on, on guitar, accompanying and piano, of course. A very nice version. And of course, most people may know this song uh, in the version of uh, the slide version of Mississippi Fred McDowell. But this is in standard tuning. Here are my E's. And the performance is on another guitar uh, and a half step lower tuned, which suits my voice a little bit better. But uh, for reasons of uh, teaching, I use uh, the guitar with standard tuning, standard pitch, well, concert pitch, and with markings, uh, fret markings, that makes things also a bit easier. All right, let's play the introduction slow and easy. Okay, we're sliding to the ninth fret on the second string and bending. And you see, I'm using two fingers to bend, and I keep my index finger. Sometimes, if you bend the well really hard, other strings get under your fingers and make sounds you don't want. That's why I do this. 
And yes, the bass, of course, is the country blues bass. You see my hands going like that slightly, just muting after I, I pick the string open and then I mute it. So it's not like this. Sliding into our B7. And a double bass at the end of the second bar. So one more time. All right. Only two basses in this measure. can keep that bend as long as you want, as long as you, you keep the beat and you do the, the, the next uh, triplet. So one more time. Again I'm bending with two fingers and keeping my index finger on the other strings to avoid unwanting sounds. And a bit closer to the uh, fretboard gives you a more well, intimate uh, whining sound. And that's of course the signature lick of Lonnie Johnson. 7, 5, 4, 4, 3, 2, slide. second finger takes over. And you can use some dynamics here. Da, 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 da. And you can linger this, uh, this note also an extra beat, if you want. Measure 5, double bass. And then we're going to the verse. I will do it slowly and sing it softly. Starting with the B7. is very concise and I'm starting to sing on the second part of the B7. Here, here also, but uh, I do it like I tapped it out. Oh Lord, in my hood. the slide. That's the A, the Robert Johnson A, which he uses in Kind Hearted Woman. 
Ähm. Double bass and then the A diminished is your A7 like this. And we're adding the index finger to the fifth fret, fifth string, third fret. And bar 10. And a slight bend, not much, so the pinky does that bend on the third fret, first string. And I add that, I um, highlight that second fret, first, second string. I accent that. And here I'm doing a very lazy hammer on. So we have that. It's by forming that E chord, or just the index finger on the third string first fret, that gets the hammer. So I'm not playing it. I'm not doing it like that with the where the index uh, plays the hits the third string. No. Walking up, sliding into our B7, and I'm doing that, and I remove my second finger to fret the sixth string, so that way I keep the sound also short. And I'm doing the same trick by simply forming the chord, I get that hammer on, that lazy hammer on. I thought that was a nice way to have a different turnaround. Everybody does like that, <laughs> or something like that. So I thought, well, let's hum that thing. And there, bar 14, you have the choice for that third beat. I sometimes do a double bass, and then do the slide, but you can also do Instead of the bass, we're doing the one time hit for the first string. So many nights since you've been gone, I've been worried and grieving my life alone. What is different on this verse, I have a very slight variation. For bar 10, we're not going to do the A diminished, but I'm going to slide up to A7. So that's a D7 moved up to the 9th fret, and the index is added to the 4th string, 7th fret. The Robert Johnson A7. And I'm doing that after I played. <coughs> And then I'm going to do slide up. So the fourth beat of the ninth measure in the variation is a slide to the seventh fret. And then I do also a variation instead of. You can do B7, move it up one fret, C7. And then that's a, well, sort of an E, I, I guess, if, if you look at the pinky. But just you keep the index on the second fret and you move 
your second and third fret into the fourth fret. So and you can do open strings in between the chord changes or same as in the tap so to speak or just uh, be adventurous I think I did that in the last verse so nothing in between just that's it now for the third verse oh no I did the solo then in the third verse well the third pass and the solo, we have an alternate bar for bar 14, which just in the last beat has a little, little bit of difference. I'm sliding to the 12th fret on the second string. Slide to the 12th fret on the second string. Double bass. And then bar 16. Sorry. Now to muting with the picking fingers. And then also a double bass at the end. And we're sliding into our A7 chord. Adding the pinky to the 10th fret. Again, low to the muting with the picking fingers. bar or use the temp wrap. You can do that too. So that is wrong in the tap. It said seven. You can do seven of course first thing but I did nine. Uh, this is of course a Lonnie Johnson kind of thing. He does that often and keep the bass going and you notice that I accent certain notes I do it different every time variation in that third beat of the 21st measure instead of I'm doing that the E note rings a little bit longer and you can hang in for another extra beat and do the turn I had to worry 
both night and day But someday, baby I ain't gonna worry My life anymore So, I really kept it simple there I do the open four string and then I start to notice the muting with the right hand and you can do uh, an open D string for before going And we have the same thing as before, also with a little etc. Then for the fourth verse, you're on my mind. I'm doing here an arpeggio in the A diminished. Nobody, and then on nose, nose. I did again the variation and uh, I don't care I go up and I don't care what you do Sunday, and the end the ending is not in the tap I think I did this ending quite a bit in the in the lightning Hopkins tunes so what am I doing after <laughs> Double bay, da, da, da. bending the third fret first string, and I'm hitting down, and I manage to only sound the first string by muting with the palm when I go down. You can help with your index. to the fourth fret forming a D7 moved up so it becomes an E7. Tamp, break up and with a thumb down. Typical Lightning Hopkins. string, second fret, open, fourth string, second fret, open, sixth string. And with the temp, 
playing treble strings with a tap gives you a special sound, I think. E minor, raking up, and when I go down, I add the index to the first fret third string and mute with the side of the palm. That's it for Worried Live Blues. Have fun!